Welcome to my another PHP tutorial video. This time, I will show you how to make a PDF in PHP. But this time, instead of using FPDF library, I am using a DOME PDF library. So what's the difference here? FPDF, is generating PDF file by directly manipulating the PDF document structure, so in order to place something in the PDF, we do it programmatically. While in DOME PDF, well, instead of generating, we are more like converting HTML layout into PDF. So to use it, we need to make an HTML structure, then turn it into PDF using this library. Before we begin, please keep in mind that DOME PDF is not tolerant to poorly formed HTML. So, be careful. Alright, now download the DOME PDF library from the repository. I'll put the link in the description just in case. Choose the zip file. Now we need to extract it into our web server directory, in my case, it's htdocs. Let's make a new folder, and name it DOME PDF. Then extract the zip file into it. Now let's take a peek at the documentation. Here you can see the requirements of DOME PDF library. Such as the PHP version, extensions you need to enable and other things. You can read it more here, let's jump to the installation part. You can install this library using Composer by running this Composer command, and follow the instruction. But for now, we are not using Composer so let's skip to the next part. In this example, we are installing this library by downloading the zip file manually. So we need to call the autoload script at the beginning of our script. Let's make a new PHP file and call the autoload script. Now let's go back to the documentation in quick start section. As we can see here, after we call the autoload script, we need to instantiate and use the DOME PDF class. Let's just copy it to speed things up. Now let me explain a little. After we call the autoload script, we need to refer the DOME PDF namespace. Then create a new DOME PDF object. Next, load the content using load HTML method, the content here is a string treated as HTML. Then we can call set paper method with first parameter being the paper size, and second being the orientation. This is optional so we can omit and use the default setting. Next, we render the PDF using render method. And finally, output the result using stream method. That is the basic usage of DOME PDF library, now let's see the result. When we access the PDF file through client, we will be presented by a file download dialog. This is a normal behavior, for now, let's just open it and see the result. Now, what if instead of downloading the file, I want to just display it in the browser's built-in PDF viewer? Let's change the code a bit. In order to immediately display the file, in the stream method, we need to pass two optional argument. First is a file name, second is an array containing stream option. We need to set attachment to zero.
then try it again, now it should immediately be displayed in the browser without showing download dialog. Without setting the attachment to zero, the generated PDF document is treated as a file attachment. And always keep in mind to stream it, because render method doesn't output anything. Now let's make some more content. There are two ways to make the content here, using output buffer, or string variable. Let's try using the former. Before loading the HTML, call PHP output buffer start function. Close the PHP tag, then write the HTML content here. Then open the PHP tag again. Call the output buffer get clean function, then assign it to a variable. Let's make a simple HTML here. Now let's see the result. The next method, we simply store our content in a variable. Personally, I prefer using output buffer, so we don't have to deal with the quotes. And also the IDE recognize the content as an HTML and nicely color he glided it. Now let's make some table. We can also use CSS to style our PDF, let's use it on our table. Please keep in mind, as we are working with PDF document, which represent physical document, it is highly recommended to use physical unit like centimeter or inches to maintain consistency. Let's add some more content.
By default, if the content overflows the page, it will make a new page automatically. But what if we need to manually make a new page? To do that, we can make a kind of page break using CSS. Let's make a class called page break. And set page break before property to always. Then if we want to break the page, just add a divided with page break class. And the content after that divided will be on the next new page. This concludes this part of tutorial. In the next tutorial, I will explain about margin, absolute content and invoice example. Thank you for watching. Please kindly support me by liking my videos and subscribing this channel. Thank you very much. See you next time.